the, the platforms we're using are intentionally addictive, right? They mm. take the algorithms from Las Vegas slot machines and put them in our social media feeds. Oh, they literally use those. They literally use it. There's a book called Hooked by Neri Neryal, which is about how to do that, you know, how oh. to create addictive technologies. Where it has to work this many times and then it doesn't work that many times. Like you have to have right. that many hits per pulls or exactly. something. Exactly, exactly. You know, you either you find the obsessive rhythm or you, you there's a, there's a, a department at Stanford called Captology Department run by BJ Fogg, F-O-G-G. I mean, and Captology is exactly what it sounds like. How do you make technologies that capture, capture people? people? And I, I met the oh guy. Oh my God, that's, I that's met evil. The, I met the guy who was one of his students who then, um, who then used those ideas to develop the, um, the streak feature on Snapchat, you know, where you you show how many days that you've had consistent conversations and like teenage girls are just hooked on it. Oh, we've 107 days. If you miss one day, we go back down to zero. I was about to feel superior to those teenage <laughs> girls before I realized on my meditation app, like sometimes it, it tells me, and it is 107 days, curiously. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, uh, like, and uh, I sort of, even sometimes I meditate without the app. I can meditate. I know yeah. TM. I learned that from the David Lynch uh -huh. Foundation, as a matter of fact. But I feel sort of bound <laughs> to the app. Oh no, I can't have it go back to one. Well, at least like it's trying to, right. You're trying to use a, and that's fine, using some external thing right. to encourage it. But the, the addiction of, uh, I mean, as, as you would know from addiction, addiction works not by satisfying the need, but by not satisfying the need. So you go back. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, your social interactions online, your, your uh, Skype conversations and FaceTime, they lack the fidelity that you need to actually connect with another person. But... You don't blame the technology for that. You blame the other person. You blame, because we haven't evolved to understand that we're, oh, this is a mediated exchange, so of course I'm not. You know, <laughs> your, your, your body doesn't feel that. But but you, even though you blame them, you end up then addicted. You go back for more. Why didn't it get it? Why didn't I get that? Why didn't it really? I mean, as you know from a drug, it never, it never quite fills. It never quite hits that spot. In 12-step theology the uh, the idea is that the reason it doesn't do that is because the craving that you actually feel is a spiritual one a yearning right. for connection that you and you're using facsimiles and anesthetics to de defer your suffering right because you don't know how to form a meaningful spiritual yep. connection and, and that's a spiritual connection that some of our leading scientists and intellectuals are telling us doesn't exist thanks for watching this podcast and going all the way to the end of it would you should kind of to click the bell it might not be there but over there and uh, subscribing so that we can infiltrate your serenity and peace of mind with jangling bells and buzzes thank you